good morning everyone uh, my name is rakesh kakoth i am here to present the project higher secondary school i card the major sco scope of the project includes master plan of the project and identifying the design strategies accordingly the renovation of the existing higher secondary block a is identified as the first phase of the project preservation renovation new construction adaptive reuse and and demolition and construction are the identified strategies Uh, as shown the principle are in, uh, these principle are in, incorporated in the design considering the existing layout and condition of the existing building this is the new added administration block phase 2 of the project which defines the public and private areas of the school this is the master plan Uh, the project is organized into five phases depending upon building conditions and operational aspects of the school and the first phase is the renovation of the higher secondary school block a as shown in the master plan there was a time constraint of four months to complete the project the design process education is a process a process of living and not a preparation for future living education is every interaction that occurs in any association between adults and children and in between children and a field uh, and between children in a field of field or a state where the educational work is in progress the main challenge was renovating uh this block a uh, uh i mean uh, the challenge was to curate the school standing within the limits of budget constraint the poor quality of the building leakage problem and the climatic issues has to be solved standing within the structural and planning constraints the site surrounded by paddy field uh and a traditional slope door roof of palakkad you can see the surroundings surrounding buildings the initial structure was an ordinary structure or ordinary building with no respect to the traditional values existed as an as a solid concrete block uh, with functional corridor on one side along with the leakage problem improper shading accelerated the decay of the structure uh to tackle the climatic issues the monotony of the existing building the exterior was carefully enveloped by a layer of columns which abruptly adds another layer of corridor to the design this added double height volume creates a sunlit ambience inside offering a cohesive transition space that promote interaction a large truss roof is added to the existing structure to solve the leakage and climatic issues which rest on this newly added structural columns the east facing facade which accommodates the transition space is covered by a layer of landscape which eases the evenings and forming patterns and making a afternoon sessions even more engaging planning facing the valley and the paddy fields in the proximity the building block is designed without losing the traditional values surrounded and the existing fabrics of the nearby building uh so ground floor uh this is the outer layer uh, the yes. 
not working. Uh, this is the, uh, the bottom is the outer layer of columns which we added to the existing building. Uh, in the ground floor, the classrooms and staff rooms lies in the same line facing the corridor. These corridors promotes interaction between students and interaction between teachers and students. This create into an interactive in learning ecosystem. Uh, The first floor, this corridor gives double height volume to the first floor, uh, which enhances the ambience inside. This envelope of columns creates layer of gradation between indoor and outdoor and unites the building and the building outline, creating a sunlit ambience inside and a new character with a captivating scale compared to the previous one. This gives delicate balance and a dialogue between individually separated veranda in both floors and with the surroundings, create an individual interactive spaces. Uh, the veranda before renovation, the veranda up, uh, after renovations. And uh, we have upcycled the existing doors, windows, and roof tiles to the new structure. The chosen color palette follows the hues of Palakkad that emotionally connect the students with their rural aspects. This was the classroom before. Building before renovation and after renovation. The design aims to re-establish the emotion and character to this approach. The design embraces its essence from the existing fabrics of the nearby building and from the traditional values itself. As I mentioned earlier, the poor quality leakage and decay of the building climatic issues are resolved by our ide design ideas which addresses the climate and improves the quality of the light corridor and classrooms thereby molding into long interactive spaces giving a captivative scale and an iconic architecture language the intention was to favor a simple uncluttered space by adding minor intervention to make a major impact Thank you. Thank you. Now let's move on to the discussions. Nice to see you again. Thank um, you. Could you share a little bit more with my colleagues also the rest of the interventions you're making on in the campus? Because it's important to have a larger context within yes. which you're situating yes. this intervention. Yes. Uh, ma'am, I don't have the photographs of the construction, uh, uh, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not working. I just want to go to first uh, sheets. It's key. Uh, this, this is the existing campus condition and uh, the first, uh, uh, I got this project, I mean, uh, the discussion was going, uh, uh, before I entered into this project, there was a discussion, they were uh, trying to create a new block in the back, back side, which is open backyard. And that time I ca came into this project and uh, we did a master plan and uh, the, we divided into different phases, uh, uh, the project divided into different phases. The first phase was to renovate the, uh, this block A and B, this means that blue block 
the, that was very basic uh, uh, basic architecture with uh, the core uh, as i explained the basic corridor and classrooms was there and we uh, that's how we created another phase that's new construction block the construction is uh, uh, just going to finish the, this block and we divided the uh, by this block administration block we divided the school space into two that means the private and uh, public space the public can enter uh, on the front side of the uh, campus and there is an, uh, a very big entry in the bottom of the uh, that building you, uh, the students can enter through that uh, entry and the ground has uh, become the private part of the uh institute and the rights uh, without losing the character of the uh, architecture which is existing the uh, very interesting character is there uh, so i try to uh, do my architecture without disturbing and you uh, lo losing the existing uh, core architecture character that's what i try to do the i was trying to do to uh, very minimal intervention to uh, do something different i believe i could achieve uh, that you know what's uh, interesting about this project is it has layers of new construction um something being renovated something being i'm just curious to see how do you evolve a s sense of institution you know a singular yeah. institution because some may be existing building or adding yeah, yeah, to it yeah, yeah. you know now the others the challenges you are going to design so you have greater freedom yeah. yes yes sir. there are the, the back there are several buildings the, the blocks there which is uh, has to be demolished the condition was very poor yes so when you when you design with greater freedom i'm just curious to see how that is there, are there any thoughts on how it would relate to where there were constraints from an existing and added the two different processes yes sir you know so were there certain things that constrained in this project because there was an existing in your holding it yes yes and which in the new you see would break through and if there is what would it be i'm just wondering actually i think i don't uh, do not i don't do extravagance or anything uh, more than this this is enough i think i believe for school it's enough that uh, it's a very the students from uh, uh, i mean local palakkad rural area students are coming that's not a subject but i think for a school it's enough thank you for a very interesting project thank you thank you sir.